I wanted to come to you guys and do a video on the passion twist. As you guys can see, my whole head is almost done at this point. Um, but I did want to do like a really quick and easy tutorial. So I left um, two undone so I can show you guys how I did it. So I've been doing my research on it. And I've been trying to figure out the best way to make the style last. And trying to figure out what method uh, can make it look the most seamless. So I know I've had heard issues about them slipping out. So a lot of people have started with the rubber band method to help them stay rubber band like the ponytails and then crochet it through that. And then I also heard that they were unraveling at the end. So I've just been looking at different videos trying to figure out what works best for me. I know for me, the crochet technique is a great idea, but I wanted it to look more seamless. And I didn't want it to look bulky how the crochet braids can look at the root. So I was trying to figure out the best method to use to um, accomplish that. So I I didn't come up with it. But I'm going to show you guys the method that I use and the method that I like the most. That makes the, um, the passion twist look seamless. Like they're coming directly from the scalp versus looking like they're crocheted in. So I did make uh, multiple ponytails all over my head. I did, I don't know about how many ponytails I made, but I know I made quite a lot. My hair is super duper full. Um, so the things that you'll need is a pack of rubber bands. You will need, I use the Maury's Superior Hairdressing Pomade. And this is the one that I just got from my husband because I forgot to get something to use to keep it intact. I use that, you will need a comb. You will need some scissors and a crochet needle. I used nine packs of the Free Trist Water Wave Hair, but I'm pretty sure most videos I've seen, everybody use about six or seven. I have a lot more twists. I kind of went overboard with the ponytails. If you, you guys can see, these are all the twists that I have. I have quite a bit of twists in my hair. So I use about nine packs of the Free Trist Water wave hair. I use one in one B mixed in. Um, what else can I tell you guys? And I did put rubber bands on the end. I don't know if you guys can see. I put rubber bands on the ends of my hair just to make sure that it didn't unravel. Because I do want the style to last three to four weeks for me. So um, I did put that on the end so it wouldn't unravel. So next I'm just going to show you guys the technique that I use to make them look more seamless. And I hope you guys can utilize it. If not, let me know what works best for you. We're all in this learning thing together. Okay, so these are my two little ponytails in the front. I took, I've been using two pieces of the Water Wave Her just because I, I like them a little bit more bulky. to push the other out the way so and guys this is my first time doing this so bear with me so I just take the crochet needle and I put it at the top of it just so it'll help it make uh, it look more seamless and I take my hair my two pieces of hair and hook it onto the needle. Slide that through. Hold the loop. And then you want to just pull one piece of the hair through and then the other piece will be on the other side. So then you want to comb the hair out. I like to comb it out while it's already pulled through because when I, when I combed it out before pulling it through, it was very hard to get it through those, um, that little rubber band portion. So I comb it out once I already pulled it through. And then if my ponytail got a little loose, I just tighten it back up. Then I take a little bit of the Maury's and put it on my hair. And then I take my hair and separate it and add it to each side of the twist. So, you're going to be twisting your hair into the, the crochet hair and then twisting it all together. 
So if you can see, you can just twist it around and down. Oh, that hurts, it's kind of sticking out. Sorry guys, this tutorial is not gonna be perfect because I'm doing this style for the first time too. I just wanted to come on and show you guys how to get it to look more seamless because that's what I like. I like for a more seamless look. And I'm gonna try not to make this video long and drawn out, but I at least wanted to do two twists on screen. And as you guys can see, it looks like it's coming straight from the scalp, like you attached it straight to your hair versus doing the rubber band method. And I think I prefer that better. Because I've seen one that you, you use, like you pull the hair through the loop. And it just made it look very bulky at the um at the be root at the roots or at the root at the beginning of the twist. Sorry, I thought it looked country. <laughs> so I'm trying to say it to where you guys can understand what I'm saying. So twist, 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 twist. And then when I get to the end, I take one of those small rubber bands and just wrap it around. And the twist looks straight along now, but it's going to spring back up. So don't worry. See? And then this is the twist. And if you can see the root, can't see the rubber band. So let's take another two pieces of the hair. And I'm going to repeat what I just did just in case you guys need me to. So I'll take it from the top. So it's gonna help you get a more seamless look. Flash that through, grab that side, and pull one piece of the hair through. So you have a piece on each side. And then, like I said, if your ponytail got loose, you can just take it and tighten it up. And just add a little more it's just to make it more seamless. And then I'm going to comb through. And like I said, this may seem more difficult, like combing it through once it's already in. But for me, this was easier. So like I said, it's all about finding the balance, what works better for you. And then also me doing it on camera, trying to look in the mirror and then look at the camera too. It's difficult, but like I said, I want it you guys to see a more seamless look also. And I'm pretty sure it's other people who have videos where it made it look more seamless too. So I'm not saying I'm the first one, but I just thought I'd come on and do one too. Okay, so we're twisting together and we're twisting down at the same time. And where my hair stops, I always like to put a little bit more of the Morris grease or pomade, just so it'll blend. And I didn't do a video of the ponytails because I thought that was pretty self-explanatory. 
but if you guys want a video with that also just let me know and then I can record it the next time I do the style or if I do the style on someone else I'll record it then and I kind of when I comb it out I really don't comb it down to the ends because I want the ends to be more uniform so I kind of leave those curls intact take our rubber band at the end and I'm definitely going to insert uh, pictures of me out so you guys can get a better view and I'll attach it into the video so that's the twist that I just did just clean the rubber band is on it And these are the twists. I'm completely done with them. Like I said, it's a lot of them. Um, I'm going to insert some photos so you guys can see it. But I think it's a very cute, very summery style. And as you can see, when I get up close, very seamless. You can't even tell that I used the rubber band crochet method. So you guys drop down in the comments. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me if y'all be trying this out. Tell me if you're going to use this method or if you're going to use a different method. Um, let's just work together. Find other cute styles and have a great summer. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.